Hello everyone. This is Southern Bell Whisper. I hope you all are doing well today. I want to share some happy news with you guys, but also this is going to be an abuse awareness video because I have been wanting to make this video so bad ever since I left my ex, but I've been afraid to because I knew he would see it and I knew he would share it with our mutual friends who have all turned their backs on me by the way. Um, and I didn't want that to happen <laughs> and I didn't, you know, all my life I've been bullied by people and I know he would share the video and be like, this bitch, you know, type of thing. Cause he sh he's, lo he's, um, last time we separated, he laundered my whole personal life on Facebook. Everything that I told him in, conf in confidence was laundered all over Facebook. Things that I told him when we got together about my mom's personal life, my personal life, and some lies in there. And I didn't want that to happen again, but you know what? I don't give a shit anymore. Because if I want to be an advocate for abuse awareness, I gotta get my, pull my big girl panties up and just do it. So, the happy news first, and then we're going to talk a little bit. So, 27 years ago, when I was 7, to when I was, uh, I guess around 20. 13. When my dad was an alcoholic, uh, and usually when he was being in a butthole, I'm trying to cuss less. When he was being a butthole, would be usually during the nighttime. And my mom would take me and we would, you know, go sit somewhere and we would listen to Q99, which is the radio station here in Virginia, and we would listen to The Delilah Show. If you guys have never heard of her, uh, she is a local uh, radio host here in Virginia, and she's been doing it for a long time, like 30 years. Um, and actually, she's one of the first people to ever give me ASMR, because she just has this very soothing, um, relaxing soft spoken voice like I definitely recommend that you search her name on YouTube um, Delilah uh, and then put Q99 and it should pop right up she's th just such a beautiful person and um, poor thing she lost her son in 2017 and, and I've been following her even when I moved to F South Carolina because I've just always been a huge fan of her so today, tonight, I was on my way back from work, and imagine my surprise, a few nights ago, I actually found out that she was still on the air. I had no idea she was still on the air, um, but tonight, I was just on my way back from work, and I was listening to her, and listening to all the stories, and the love stories, and the love songs, but also redemption songs, and you know, dedications and things like that. So I'm sitting in my driveway and something tells me, you know, would you just try? You know, I, you're probably, you know, there's 55,000 people trying to call her right now, but give it, give it a shot. So I called the first time and I got the automated uh, voice messaging system that says, this line is busy. By the way, I don't know what I did to my nose. I'm a mess, you guys. I'm a mess. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, 
So the first time I got the automated voice message system that says, this line is busy, please call back, or please try your call again. I did that 50 times. And, and I was like, okay, maybe I should just give up and I'll try again tomorrow night. But something told me, try one more time. That time I was put on hold. And I was, I was like, okay, what's going on right now? And then I hear her say, this is Delilah, who am I talking to? It took me a second. And I actually forgot my name for a second. I was like, Kelly? She was like, hey, Kelly. And I was like, oh my God. And I, I was so nervous. Like she, even she could tell I was super nervous. She's like, you have no reason to be nervous. And I said, well, I've been such a huge fan of yours for so long. I said, I feel like I'm talking to a celebrity. And she was like, who would you like to dedicate a song to tonight? I said, my mama. I said, I want to dedicate a song to my mama. Because, and she says, is there any special reason why? I said, my mama saved my life. I said, my mama has saved my life in more, in more ways than one. I said, but recently... She saved me from a very toxic 10-year marriage. And she was like, okay, well, tell me a little bit more about that. And so I told her, I told her, I said, you know, and she was like, is this a, you know, a, uh, you might go back thing? Or is this a, you're done thing? I said, I'm done. I said, completely done. I said, I said, I have been emotionally, mentally, and, um, emotionally, mentally, and verbally abused. And she was like, oh, um, she said uh, something about how it, it's good for other women who have been abused to hear stories like mine. Um, I actually stayed up till 12 o'clock tonight because I wanted to hear it, but uh, she did mention that she would probably play it on Friday instead because it's girls night and she said what better way to, sp to spread abuse awareness than on girls night. So for the next two nights I'm going to probably be listening to her talk show uh, just to see. Thank God I'm off. Because I will record it. Because I will remember. It, it's probably going to be a core memory of mine for the rest of my life. Is is being able to talk to her. It was like talking to a celebrity. I swear. Um, but. Uh, okay. So. This is. Uh, this is the part that we get a little bit deeper. Okay. Because I was actually nervous to me. But I don't, I really don't care anymore. I really don't. Uh, the people that have already turned their backs on me have already done that. Uh, I've, you know, you gotta cut the people out of your life that don't want to be a part of your life. You know? I mean, that's, that's really the hardest part is losing friends that you've known for 10 years and they just, they don't give you a chance to explain they just want to listen to hearsay, and, but, um, my, one of our mutual friends, uh, has been coming to me and telling me what he posts on his Facebook, and, uh, they said he's acting like the victim, like, that you gave up on him. I did not give up on him. He gave up, he gave up on me. Actually, you know what? He didn't give up on me because he never really loved me. Sorry. 
he obviously does not know what love is. He is a hypocrite. And he will go to his grave saying that he has never abused me. He's like, I got the proof that she abused me. That's what he would say. And he does. He does have proof. He has videos. He would record me after he pushed my buttons, after he would call me in, in a the C word, the B word, C word. He would do all that pushing my buttons, pushing my buttons, pushing my buttons, until I would get so enraged. Like, okay, you guys, I've been dealing with some inner anger issues for a long time. And that stems from being bullied. That stems from having a broken family. Um, my brother, God rest his soul, God rest his soul, had anger issues. Um, I mean, we we all just have some underlining anger issues. And but I don't really get that. I don't get angry. Unless somebody does something to make me angry or pushes my buttons. But he would literally um, record me when I would get enraged at him. And so he has that proof. But let me show you guys something right quick. Remember when I told you guys about that night on the... Did I tell you guys about that night on the beach where he... Uh, Talked me into taking three taps of acid and downing a whole bottle of liquor, half a bottle of liquor, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I found something, or my niece Selena found something the other day. I'll show it to you guys. And you ask yourself, who's the abuse one in this situation? So, my niece found this the other day. We were in the news. I told you guys, I think I did. I can't remember. It says, uh, breaking an unusual situation in Garden City this morning. Garden City, South Carolina. At about 4 a.m., Morris Inlet Garden City Fire Rescue was dispatched to the 2000 block of Waccamaw Drive after a woman reported her husband may have drowned in the ocean. The woman, who allegedly admitted she had taken acid, said she and her husband had been in the ocean and she lost sight of him. The couple's vehicle was found unoccupied and a search of the beach began. At around 4.40 a.m., the man was found. He was reportedly naked and was standing in the water in the vicinity of Dolphin Street. EMS was called to check out. Both the man and his wife were transported to the hospital for evaluation. That was me. And Selena, you didn't trick me, honey. This is obviously... Uh, something that I've been dealing with for a while. I've been dealing with PTSD and insomnia from that night alone. What kind of husband talks his wife into taking three tabs of acid and downing a whole bottle or half a bottle, I'm sorry, and downing half a bottle of liquor? On an empty stomach, by the way, because our refrigerator was pretty much always empty. Who does that? And I've done it before, I'm not going to lie, but he talked me into it. He peer pressured me into doing it. And I know you say, well, you're old. You should know better. You're 33 years old. I would it. I would have did anything for him because I loved him and I, and I trusted him. 
and he said psychedelics are normal, there's even a pharmacopoeia or whatever that fucking show was, that was a stupid ass show, um, you know, psychedelics are normal, psychedelics are bad, they're not like coke or, or meth or any of those other drugs, and they're fun and you can party, and I will be honest, the first few times I did enjoy it, I'm not gonna lie, but I would never do it again. Just a part of me I'm not disappointed in myself. I'm I just hate being being made out to be the bad guy. Because Because for 10 years I had faith in him. I trusted him. I loved him. I worked my ass off. Four to five days a week. 12 hour shifts, night shift. $3,000 a month. And it would all go into his pocket. You tell me who the biggest one is. And then I would come home and he would tell me it was his wife's job to cook and clean. So me exhausted, I had to like lift and push and pull people that were up to 400 pounds. me who the abuse one is and then I would come home and don't even get me started on that trailer the house of horrors you mean it was filthy and it made me so depressed because I wanted a clean house I, I wanted to have a house I could be proud of home and he'd be sitting in the same spot that I left him in. And don't even get me started on all the relapses he had. <laughs> the same year we got married, he relapsed on Spice. Tell me who the abused was. relationship. He relapsed in he, re, he relapsed so many times. Spice. Meth. Coke. Pills. Like, I didn't work my ass off trying to make that marriage work. I didn't just lose him. Which, that isn't the bad part. I don't mind losing him. I lost my cat that I loved immensely. I lost friends. I lost family. But his family never once backed me up, ever. 
It was always my fault. Always my fault. Always. Well, Kelly must have did something. I remember one of the last conversations I had with this dad. He called me and he said, you need to stop abusing my son. He thinks you're going to kill him. That's what he told me. Who's the one that got closer to death on that beach? Me. He brought me closer to death so many times than I ever did him. Yeah. I was physical. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not perfect. But it's something that in my next relationship, I would never do. Because it's never the right way. It's, it's never, that's not the answer. It's not, and I know it. But he would just, he knew exactly how to push my buttons and make me enraged. I didn't like being called names. I said, it's not normal. I said, no, it's not fighting. Call me the B word and the C word and, and, and fighting for no reason is not normal. You can't put two angry people together and expect it to work. He just didn't love me enough to get help with his drug addiction and with his anger issues I never once felt loved by him ever I never got any gifts for anniversaries or birthdays yeah Christmas yeah he got me some things with my old money <laughs> cause he didn't have a job <laughs> yeah yeah he didn't work that was another thing. He didn't work. He'd have a job for like a month. And then, and then say, oh, they fired me. Oh, but it's their fault. I didn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. You know, one of the first things that uh, I was told about him was by a girl that had worked with him. And she said, she told me she got mad at me one day. I, I forget what for, because that was like 10 years ago. But she said, you're the one that has a husband that cheated on you two months uh, before your wedding. And now that I think back, I'm like, maybe she was telling the truth. I believe it now. And I just want to tell, I'm going to wrap this video up. I just want to tell any abused woman out there, they're never going to change. The first sign of abuse, whether it be verbal, mental, physical, oh God. If a man ever puts his hands on you, it's over. He doesn't love you. He doesn't. And especially if he's tempting you with alcohol or drugs or any, anything like that. No, go, leave. Especially if you have children. Like every, every child I see when I'm working, it makes me so emotional because I want to be a mother. I always dreamed of marrying my Prince Charming and starting a family and having children. And now I'm 33 and I'm like, is there still time? Yeah, I told my mom, I said, if I haven't found uh, my soulmate, soulmate, 
Um, by the time I'm 40, I'll have a baby by myself. Who needs a man? You know? I hate to be that way, but who needs a man? I have a baby. You know? I don't. So, any woman can have the life that she's always dreamed of without having a man. I always felt like, all my life, I always felt like the romantic relationship was, was the most important thing in the whole life world. And it's not. You love yourself. I know that sounds cliche. Love God. But if you're not religious, then love yourself. I've always been told that, Kelly, you, you gotta love yourself before you can love anybody. And that that's what gives me comfort, is knowing that God knows the truth. God knows the truth. I don't have to prove myself to anyone. myself and God. You know? I've always felt like I've had to prove myself to people. And I've lost friends and that hurts sometimes, but you know? You live, you learn, you lose people. That's the first thing a narcissist will do is alienate you from your entire family and all your friends. I will not forget because Selena, I love you girl, yesterday was the one year anniversary of when we went to go see the whale. And uh, I'll never forget the times I'd be like, Okay, I'm gonna go hang out with Selena. And he'd get real angry at me. Oh, he'd say, You'll hang out with her, but you won't do anything with me. But yet, when I would have off days and would want to hang out with him, he'd either be playing Pokemon or poker or just sitting there doing nothing, watching TV. He never once asked me, Hey, let's go to the beach. Other than that time, and uh, or let's let's go on a date. Let me take you on a date. Here's some flowers. Here's some flowers. Thank you for working so hard. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for having faith in me. Here's some fucking flowers. I never got flowers unless I asked for it. He'd say, huh, they're going to die anyways. What's the use of spending $15 on flowers if they're going to die anyways? Well, two can play in that game. If you're watching this. My guns are drawn, man. I know the truth now, and boy, you want to play nasty? We'll play nasty. I'm sure he won't show this video to people. Because he doesn't want to be... He wants to play the victim. And make it seem like I'm the bad guy in this. Oh, she gave up on me. She gave up on our marriage. God hates her because it says not uh, to succumb to your husband. Oh, she's... She's... Oh, she's just, she's that. Boy, he may have the proof, but so do I. And, uh, they also asked me for proof to get the restraining order. So, thank you, Selena, for sending me this. Because now I have a proof. So, anyways, I'm sorry. 
this this is what I need for my divorce yeah I've already seen a lawyer and he was like yeah I can get you a fast divorce but I need proof I guess I'll be so glad when this shit is over I'm sorry I know I'm trying to I can't wait till it's over. But anyways, I'm tired. It's after 12 o'clock now. Uh, I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.